What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're gonna be opening some OTS 15. We never actually did a video on this, we did it in a live. Um, and we're gonna also open a Battles of Legend Armageddon. These uh, boxes and packs are for members of the channel. These are their packs, they're not mine. So if you guys wanna become a member and have a chance to get some really cool packs, um, and the box breaks and just for video stuff like that then click the join button down below or click the link that says become a member in the description and let's get into it the giveaway for this video i'll be giving away this jinzo from anniversary pack all you got to do is like this video be subscribed and let me know a card you'd want to see me give away one day okay so the first member of the channel is charles v you guys have seen him on some of the box breaks he has four of these ots 15 packs so hopefully we can pull him an ultimate rare Let's see if we can pull in something good. Uh, we have about 32 more that are opened by another member. So we're going to see quite a bit of this OTS. We got a Shadow Vampire. We got a Mahama the Fairy Dragon. And we got Noctivision Dragon. This one I think used to be worth something. I'm not sure if it still is. Super rare. Let's leave it up. Next pack. We have another pack. OTS 15. Yep, that's how that works. Same, same exact pack. <laughs> okay. Number two, we got Arm Dragon level three. Different Dimension Reincarnation. And Dogmatica Punishment. This one was over 10 bucks. I'm not sure if it still is, but this one was really expensive. So that's a good super rare to get. Okay. Obviously, the okay, what ultimate rare do we want? We have Crystron, Halka Fanbacks, Halka Fan. Well, yeah, whatever it is. Um, that one was the most expensive when I opened it. There's also Arm Dragon, of course, which they, <laughs> they of course, printed again in the newest Ghost for the Past set. Zodiac Bar, I think all these, when I first opened them, were worth like 3 or $4 that we've pulled so far, at least. And then, of course, the one that's worth $10. All right, last pack for Charles. Let's see if we can get him something good. By the way, uh, tomorrow we'll be opening up some old school packs. You, uh, if you guys have seen my story, we have LOB, Magician's Force, and bar okay, Barricade Blocker. Um, we also have uh, more Ghosts from the Past. On Sunday, we're going to hopefully have a case... Thanks to Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! who's coming by. We're both going to open up a case. It's going to be pretty fun. All right, next we have 32 of these for Robert. So Robert has a much better chance to pull an ulti here. Usually it's about 1 every 17 because you get 6 every 100. So a little bit under 1 every 17 to get an ulti. So maybe he'll get 1, maybe he'll get 2. We have a World Legacy token, super rare. Next pack. Once again, thanks to thank the members who allowed me to open these on video. So that's pretty cool. All right, Griffin Wing, Amorphous Persona, Infernoble Captain Roland, super rare. So I'm not sure about, I don't really remember these being great supers, so maybe these are not as good. All right, we still got a lot left though. Different Dimension Reincarnation, Arm Dragon Level 3, Noctivision Dragon I think is decent, not totally sure. Okay, I'm pretty excited to open more ghosts uh, from the past. I know it's not as hyped as we thought it would be or as hype as we thought it would be try white oh ultimate rare dark requiem xyz dragon that one looks amazing check that out it's got some colors in the back it's like black everywhere and white and then it's like colorful like stained glass window wings that's really cool i like that card that's nice so uh robert is starting off hot all right next pack um what was i gonna say about uh ghosts yeah but uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of horror stories about about full cases with nothing in it. Proxy F Magician. So I'm a little bit worried that when we get ours, because my cases were like lost and delayed, I think they I think they found them. I hope. But um, Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh has two that he's gonna bring, and we're both gonna open one. And I think one's gonna be on his channel, one's gonna be on mine. Not totally sure. Uh, we're gonna figure it out tomorrow. But should be on Sunday that you guys get some Ghost from the Past content, more of it. And hopefully we will get a ghost rare, please. Please. Yeah, I know. It's pretty scary. It is pretty scary, I know. Almost as scary as when the like button doesn't work. I know. That's shocking. It's very scary. So I just I just want to make sure just want to make sure you guys are feeling alright, that the like button is working. I know, I know, I know. It's pretty scary. It's pretty intimidating. When you try to press the like button, it doesn't work. Or you look up there and it's not clicked. Oh, absolutely so scary. Oh my goodness. Try white. Ice Bell. Barricade Borg Blocker. It's like a nightmare. It's, it's just like a nightmare. It's kind of like um, kind of like opening Magician's Force and getting No Dark Magician Girl. Kind of like that. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Mahama. Arm Dragon Level 3. Zodiac 
bar bow. Okay. Here we go. I don't know what that says. <laughs> Reincarnation. Proxy F Magician. Okay, we are on a streak of pulling the same cards. All right, we're going to flip those, you know, the right way so I can actually not have to flip them every single time. That's pretty uh, pretty big brain of me. Pretty smart. Should all dragon. That's a decent one. So far, one ultimate rare out of here. I think there had been one pulled out of the 80 I had or something. World Legacy Token. And not these are about half. 36 out of the 80. And we pulled one more. So there should be four left in the other... Other ones that have not been opened, I am not going to do the math right now. And also don't know how many shit all dragon that we've opened right now. Okay. TP. OTS TP. Not really TP. It's just, uh, it's the new TP. Try wipe. Mahama. Barricade board blocker. Again, we haven't gotten that good trap yet. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. Charles got one out of four and we have gotten none out of probably 16 packs or something. Ice bell. Reincarnation. Crossover again. We're getting the same. It's almost like it's a different set. We're getting the same cards, but like none of the ones that Charles got. I think we got like one of the same ones. Persona, Arm Dragon level 7. There we go, Dogmatic of Punishment. That one's worthy of a sleeve. TP, OTS, 15. Unfortunately not TP, that'd be nice. Infernoble Captain Roland. Alright. Vampire's Domain, Griffin Wing. World Legacy Token, super rare. This is going to be kind of a long video if you if we put that uh, Battles of Legend here, too. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit long. Arm Dragon Level 3, Dogmatic Punishment. There we go, another one. Very good. I don't know if the price is still as high. Probably not. It was super high before. We will see. Okay. Different Dimension Reincarnation. World Legacy Token. Very nice. Okay, try white. Win Witch Ice Bell. Barricade Ward Blocker for the 12th time, it feels like. OTS. Did you guys open any OTS? It was, it's a lot harder to get OTS these days because, um, you know, all the events, like a lot of places still aren't doing their tournaments, stuff like that. All right. Another reincarnation. Persona. We've got a Melfi Mommy. Win Witch Ice Bell. We've got a try white. Proxy F Magician. Very nice. Alright. Rank Up Magician, the seventh one. Another one! The same ultimate rare. Okay, two ultimates though. That's pretty nice. Dark Requiem, Exceeds Dragon. I think that's the worst one too. But it is still, I mean, it's still an ulti and it's still worth quite a bit. Probably like 30 bucks. Could be a little bit more, not sure. Vampire's Domain. Wait, no, it was more than, it was more than uh, Arm Dragon Level 10. I think that was the cheapest one. So maybe that one's worth like 50 bucks. At the time of, of me opening, that's what it was. The original. Dogmatic of Punishment. There's a play set. That's really nice. There we go. Upside Down Sleeve. I know you guys love that. I know you guys love the Upside Down Sleeve. All right. Here we go. Arm Dragon Level 5. Zodiac Barbar. Okay, can we get three Ultimate Rares? That's the question. Three ultis. Shadow Vampire. Barricade, barricade board blocker. He hit right on he hit the ratio right on the head if he gets two. Because it's about one every 16.67 and he had 32, which is just slightly under, you know, 33 or whatever that would have been. Okay, so he did pretty good. Two ultimate rares, three dogmatic punishments, pretty nice. Let's go in and see if we can pull the 10,000 dragon. Could you imagine? Alright, let's open this thing up. It's been a while. I opened over 30 boxes of this myself. Well, I opened a bunch of blisters, which equaled boxes. So those, it was like six of those boxes worth of those. And then like 20 something boxes of this. All right. Is this a Euro box or is it a North American box? You guys remember why Euro is so much better for this? I don't know if you guys remember, but um, the foil is in the back, not in the front. Let's open these up. 24 pack. Oh, these, oh, they're slippery. I forgot. 24 packs. Can we pull some fire? Here we go. Oh, these are not European. There's a Numeron Network, a good pull. Quacky Mirror Dragon. Okay. So we are going to have a spoiler right at the front every time, which is kind of a bummer. Here we go. Danger Jackalope. All right. Book of Moon. We're going to go through kind of quickly because we don't want to do the card trick. Okay, maybe we'll do the card trick. You know what? 
Let's not spoil it every time. Let's do this. Let's do this the right way. The way you should do it for the drama. Black Whirlwind. Specimen Inspection. Okay. Okay, let's get it. 10k Dragon. Here we go. Second time on the channel. We pulled it in a live stream originally. When it very first came out. Or very first. Very first came out? When it first came out? There we go. Not very first. That is sounded wacky. All right. By the way, this one is for Birdman89. I didn't mention that. This one's for Birdman89. Let's see if we can get him something good. Appliancer. We got Invoked Purgatua. We got the Weathering Soldier. What are the other ones in here? You want Chaos Emperor Dragon? We pulled a ton of those. I think I have like 10 of them still. Chaos Emperor Dragon of Armageddon. There was the Invocation short printed. Uh, number two. And Blizzard Wolf. And I think those are the big ones. There was a few other cards worth a couple bucks, but like... It was basically those and the starlights that you're looking for. Psychic Wave. Gung Gungnir. Firefront Lady. Power Crawler. I remember Firefront Lady was worth something for a while. And then it was not because everyone opened this so much. There was just a million of them. I still have probably 20 of them. From when I opened so many boxes. Sting Synchron. That was where something got banned. There's a Mega Fleet Dragon. Yeah, you can get these uh, cover artworks in here too. These cover artwork monsters. Oh, there it is. There's one of them. I ruined it. Uh, this is one of the cooler ones. The Trishula Dragon of Icy Imprisonment. I think it was originally a jump card. A Shonen Jump promo. I think I'm right about that. And uh, so it's, that's a good one to get. It's, I'm a big fan of that one. It looks good. And they're all dragons, so that's nice. Neos Alias. Chikata King. I don't know if that's right. We got a Utopia the Lightning. Fossil Fusion. Had a lot of those. I still have a lot of those too. Those were like around a dollar and then they kind of plummeted. For like a week they were a dollar and then... And then everything went way down. Afterglow. Celtopus. Artifact Ignition. Secret Rare. Okay, we're not we're not pulling anything too crazy right now. Let's go. We pulled Network, which is one of our best pulls in the first first pack of the whole thing. Invoke Elysium. We got Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, the Junk Anchor, Secure Gardener, and Utopic Future Slash. All right, all right, come on. Arm. We could also get Utopia, the Secret Rare, or, or the. Uh, the Starlight Rare, which you remember, it took me longer to get that one than it took to get 10,000 by a long shot. Um, polar Penguin. Okay. The Polar. The Penguins. Whew. Here we go. Goyo Defender. Artifact Sanctum. That's pretty good. We've got a Cross Sheep. That's pretty good as well. And the Skullgar. So we got two of the good Ultra Rares in there, which is good. And uh, now that O-Lion's not good anymore because it's banned, it's worth like nothing. Oh, there's a Chaos Neos. That's cool. One day they will reprint Air Neos. Because look, there's two elemental heroes right here. <laughs> there's a Chaos Dragon, number 92. All right. Come on. Believe in the 10,000 Dragon. Psychic Wave. We got the Invoked Rage in. Blackwing. Pliant Sester. Invocation. Okay, we actually got a decent box. Because these are about two per case. So that's really good. So about one every six boxes. So that's actually nice. I don't know what it's worth now. Maybe it's gone a little bit back up. It was around like 20 to 25 when I was opening. That's really nice. Really nice. Oh. Invoked Purgatrio. And another Future Slash. Okay. Here we go. Number one. Oh. There's two. There's the Ruxin Special. Flame Wing Man. Miracle Rupture I think is one of the better ones. Got the Giant Soldier of Stone on there. That's pretty cool. All right, so can we get the Invocation and the Chaos Emperor in the same box? That would be pretty crazy. Or, obviously, of course, a Starlight would be insane. But Ulce and Jelly. Wow, this is actually a really good box. You're getting most of the good cards. Very good for Birdman. The Birdman. Here we go. Here we go. Pliancer. Um, that guy. Numeron Wall. That was a good one. Skull King. Skull Knight. That's a big one. Skull Knight is one I hardly pulled. I've opened like 30 boxes and pulled like four of them. It's very weird. All right, we've got the Bambi. The uh, oh, Ross Disciple. we got the Ruxin Special. And the Numeron Network. Okay, this is a pretty good box. This is a really good box, actually. He's pulling a lot of good stuff. Three packs left. The perfect Armageddon box. Let's do this. Goyo Defender. Reuse. Afterglow. Boost. Foster Warrior Skullbone. Not the Skull Knight, though. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. We got the four mud skipper, number four, galaxy worm, and a numeron calling. Wow, that's a pretty good one too. 
Very nice. I think it went down to under a dollar, but still, it's a pretty good one. And the final pack of this box. Really good box, to be honest. Really good box. Let's go Chaos Neos. Let's get Starlight in the last pack. Numeron Wall. Skull King. I thought that was a knight. Okay, that's pretty good, though. Pretty good box. Overall, some pretty good pulls. We got a couple ultis. We got an Invocation Secret Rare. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and we're going to be opening some really crazy stuff soon, especially tomorrow. We got some old school packs, and that's it for this video. See you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>